so this is me, a person who has very, very recently learned how to play TCG. Yes. Introducing you, a person who has very, very recently learned how to play TCG. I am very, very to, new. <laughs> yeah. Like, for context, I learned today off camera, um, right before filming this. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a VGC player by nature. Um, I'm getting into Pokemon Unite as well. But TCG is not something I've really touched. But it's the, the remaining Infinity Stone for the Gauntlet. Exactly. Something yeah. I'm looking forward to getting good at one day. Yeah. But um, this, is, this is the entry, this is the baby steps into this whole world of um, expensive cardboard. Um, yes. Well, we, we picked the, like, the top the top end decks to be playing. We did. I did. So um, I, I got Keith's instructions uh, that I should look on like the top winning decks of like the Europe International Challenge and just pick one from the list. And I said, oh, Lugia looks good. Let's just do that one. And um, I've given it a little test go and it seems, it seems really good. I'm honestly just glad you didn't pick Lost Box. Really? That, that would have been like exhausting for me to to learn well enough to then teach, for you to yes. learn well enough to then play. <laughs> well, I've been, so, so, um, yeah, my partner has been learning TCG as well. Mm. And he's been using like the starter deck on the TCG app. That's the Giratina one. Yeah. And there's a ton of like comfies there. Yeah. And I was like, oh, comfy is part of like the starter decks. Like comfy is probably a bit basic. I won't use a deck with comfy yeah. in it. And that's why I chose the Lugia. But yeah. now knowing like- Comfy I'm is crazy. Broken, yeah. absolutely broken. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think it's um, pretty underused. But Absolutely. it's probably now overused, but I don't know about that whole world just yet. I'm learning. Yeah, it, it's the card that makes a deck. Like, it's the archetype-defining main Pokemon. Yes, probably. yes. Absolutely. So... But yeah, came to, came to learn a little bit about this world and give, give some games a go. Yeah. So how about we start off with a quick deck profile? Because no okay. one knows what we're playing yet. The pink deck. So we picked... Lugia V Star for you. Yes. Um, which is the activate V Star, bring back Archeops, fill up a bunch of energy onto your board. Yes. Now this deck recently changed because of the rotation. Um, okay. before you had a lot of really cool energy and a lot of really cool Pokemon. Okay. Now you have single strike energy and single strike Pokemon, okay. but it's still very strong. Yes, I think um, from what I gathered, it's a deck where you take Archeops and you throw it away as soon as you can, and then you just bring it back. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, we played a test game um, off camera, and I was one prize behind, and I got rolled. It was very close. Um, but it, it was very close. It was very close. Um, Tell me about your deck. And then I'm playing Miraidon, which is... Oh, no, this one. I'll show our camera. I'll show our camera. <laughs> This is Miraidon. This is from a new. This is a new deck that's come out of the set that just came out. Uh, and Miraidon and Coriadon are kind of like the two main guys, I guess. Um, and the Miraidon deck is like, bears. yeah, right. Um, so I'm playing something that's like super aggressive. I try and load up as much energy as I can and just be attacking every turn from the second turn. Um, I'm just kind of good for playing IRL because it's like not brain dead, but like it's a lot less. I do this and then I do this and then I do this. Like it's a bit. A bit more streamlined decision making wise. And I'm less likely to burn out than playing Lost Blocks for eight hours at a time. Yep. <laughs> so let's start off with a Dust Run. Sure. Can you be a nine? See, when you play Magic, you always do odds and evens because yeah, you only I've need, never done odds and you evens. You only need to roll the die roll. once. I've always done high roll. No. You also got a nine. I also got a nine. So now we have to roll over the third well, time. Let's do odds or evens okay. because clearly this is going to keep going. So right. would you like odds or evens? Odds. That is odds. That would, is odds. Would you like to go first or second? I'm going to go second. I always want to go second. Okay, well, I will go first then. Okay. So, would you like to cut my deck? Yes. You can do the same. I've been shuffling here for like the last hour and a half. Yeah, me so too. It's probably fine. I found it really interesting, like, despite the green screen, you have green um, card I backs. Know. It's a really interesting I, it choice. It wasn't intentional. I'm, I'm going to keep my um, deck kind of off screen. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Yeah, you can probably see a little bit. But probably that's okay. see a little bit. That's okay. Um, and the cards backs are a little see-through, but I don't know what they are, so it's not like they're marked or anything. Yeah. So you viewers at home don't have to worry about me cheating. Um, I have to mulligan. Um, okay, I don't have to mulligan. This is my mulligan. The only Pokemon I had was Reggie Vimax. Okay, I'm going to place this in play. Okay. Um, and I'm, that's the only card I'm going to play um, in play. Okay. That's good. Yes. 
when we went and played before and you were like, and also here's the thing on my bench, I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> did, did you really want to start filling do that I, up right away? Do I really want that? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then like the, when I was like doing my first test hand, I was like, I, oh, I had like the worst cool. like yeah. starter card to put out and then... Yeah, looming on in the active is just kind of bad all around. Yeah. Good to know, good to know. Yeah. Lumineon, great card, but only when it does the exactly one thing that its ability dictates. Yes. Okay, so would you like to cut my deck? Yes, I would. Put some go. good cards on top? Yes. Here you go. Alright. Let's try again. It's looking better already. Excellent. Good start. Okay, ooh, okay. Got my seven. We are gonna play this as the active. And... Right. Oh, hang on, prizes. Prizes first. Prizes. I always forget prizes. Prizes. I, um, I also, because of desk space, you probably won't see my yeah, prizes. Mine are going to be way off camera. I will put them over to you to the side. We can see how many prizes we have left. I think that's the important thing. Just put like a little, little dice counter little for dice. the prizes left. I don't think that's going to be seen. I don't think you can see that on camera. <laughs> we that's have an interesting whatever. setup today. We're experimenting with yeah. this. All right, so I will... We reveal? reveal. And then you go first. Alright, so um, just to confirm, yes. I can't play supporters on the first That's turn, correct. and I can't attack on the first That's turn. That's correct. But okay. you can items, you can attach, you can bench. Okay, so let me just have a look and see what I want to do. Um, I think... Hmm. Um... Okay, well, I, I think... Uh, oh no, it's a supporter, I can't do that. Um, <laughs> off to a good start, off to a good start. I think I am going to play a stadium. Once oh, nice. during each player's turn, that player may flip a coin. If heads, that player searches their deck for a Pokemon, reveals it, puts it into their hand, then that player shuffles their deck. Yep, so, so looking for heads, so evens is heads, odds is tails. Okay. So you're looking for evens. Yes, I would like an even number. It rolled it's off. Odd. It is odd. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay. But either of us can do this every turn. Excellent. Once. Okay, sure. Um, well, in that case, the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to play an Ultra Ball. Okay. I'm going to discard two things from hand. Yeah. I'm going Hopefully to... Hopefully Archie Ops? Um, no, unfortunately yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to discard a Luminion Ooh. and an Urn of Vitality. Okay. Seems bad, but okay. Really? I mean, Luminion is like really, really important. So... But if you already have like good supporters or something, maybe? I don't know. Luminion. I don't know what's in your hand. Oh, it gets you a supporter. Yeah. Okay. So, I think I'm, I think I'm still going to do that. So I've discarded okay. those two cards. Yeah. And I'm going to look for a Pokemon and put it on my bench. Which is probably Lugia, yes, I want Yes, I'm, I'm going to get a basic Lugia. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to shuffle my deck. Okay. Sounds good. And then, um, that's the end of my turn. I can't really do anything else. No energy attach? Oh. Yeah, no, no, I don't need to touch, and that's your turn. That's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. Okay. Um, that was really helpful. Uh, I'm going to. I have a few options here. Um, I'm gonna activate Tandem Unit, which lets me go and search for two Lightning type Pokemon. Okay. Uh, one of them is Marado, uh, and they go on the bench. You know, I always find the types really confusing for TCG because it's suddenly, you know, everything I know from VGC about Pokemon types is just yeah. different now. Yeah. It's... Yeah, it takes a little bit to get used to. Um, and a Reggie. Um, so, Very nice. fighting is also rock and drown. Okay. Psychic is sometimes also ghost and stuff like this. And fairy. Yes. Yes. Well, there is it's rarely actually a fairy type, oh, really? but it's not in standard. Okay. Um, and so like when you kind of figure out that a lot of the different types include a few different things, it gets a little bit easier. Okay. But there's some that like steel is only steel. Um, <laughs> so weird. Which is kind of confusing. Yeah, I think it's something I'll pick up eventually, but yeah, not just yet. Yeah, so my plan is to kill your stone journal. Okay, that's, that's fair. If I can. Um, Let's... We're going to Electric Generator. So I look at the top five cards. Very nice. And any Lightning Energy there, I can attach to my guys and bench. So we hit one, um, and then we shuffle. Mm -hmm. One is not good. No, Two is not. ideal. Yes. I imagine that is the case. 
but that's okay. I have things. I have things I can do. Um, okay. Um, I have a lot of things I could be doing. I could just sit here and flick my cards around for an hour and look like a pro. <laughs> um, uh, you could just be saying the most random shit right now, and I just accept it as truth. I'd be like, "Hey, nod. sounds yeah. great. Yeah, sounds good. go for it." Um, be like, "I'm pulling off this strategy," and I'd be like, "Cool. I haven't great. heard of that one before." Yeah. Um, I'm gonna nest ball, okay. and the nest ball is gonna get Greninja. Greninja is such a dumb card because pretty much every deck can play it. Mm -hmm. The Lugia deck is a weird exception because it doesn't play a lot of energy and it doesn't want them to discard pile it once I'm in the deck. Yes, it does. Um, but my deck, I play a lot of energy because of the electric generator. So, so tell me why Greninja is so good for other decks. So it has the ability to conceal cards. Once per turn, you can discard an energy to draw two cards. Okay. Which I'm going to do now. We'll discard an energy. Okay. And we draw two more energy. <laughs> well, you can discard those thing. to get more uh, cards next, later. Next um, maybe. Maybe. We're going to put an XP share on this Maridon. Mm -hmm. We are going to attach energy for turn to this Raikou. You're here like popping off and I'm here with my little stone journal that's like has no energy on my side. Yeah. Uh, they're <laughs> gonna wait. Professors. It's a waiting death. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. That's the plan. Tell me about professors. Um, so I just cut my hand. Yes. I draw seven cards. Okay. I'm hoping to draw Escape Rope. Escape Rope wins me the game right now. Oh, so I really? get to kill your Lugia, and then I don't think you can recover from that. Oh, okay. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, we didn't get broke. Well, that's... Lucky. <laughs> I, I would quite like to continue playing the game, to be completely honest. <laughs> um, I already attached for turn, so that was maybe a mistake. Um, that's fine. I'm going to another electric generator. Mm -hmm. We hit two energy this time. Did you get an escape rip, escape rip there? Yeah, I did. Nice. <laughs> Phew. So close, so close. Um, and I'm going to put them on the other Raikou, and then I think I will be passing the turn. So let me have a look at my hand. World's longest cutscene. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this deck has a really big first turn, and then is kind of chill after that, compared okay. to some other decks, like Lost Box, that does a hundred things every turn. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, your turn. Alright, um, well, I will draw for turn to start with. My stone gen is <clears throat> very happy it gets to live another day. Mm. Um, now, let me have a think about what I'd like to do. So, am I correct in assuming that your Maridon will actually die to Giga Hammer? Yes. Um, also, Lance Pulse and two single strike energy, I think. So, Lance Pulse plus the stadium in play is 60. Yes. Plus. Two single strike energy is a hundred. That would be two hundred. So not quite. Not quite. You need three single strike energy. But if you have three single strike energy, Giga Hammer is the okay. energy. Well, I, I think regardless, let me start by um, doing this. So I'm going to evolve Luig uh, Lu Lugia. Luigi. Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> Lugia. And I will play Professor Burnett and go get two Archeops from okay. my deck. I'm scared. So in straight into the discard pile. Yeet. Yeet. And. Another one is in this half of the deck. Here we go. They're both in the discard. Along with Professor Burnett that I've just used. Mm -hmm. Let me give my deck a quick shuffle. Would you like to cut my deck? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. All right. I will then activate my V-Star ability and flip this over. Yeah. And go get my two Archeops from my discard pile and place them onto the battlefield. I am then going to do this one where I flip a coin. If heads, I'm going to search my deck for a Pokemon and reveal it. Yeah. So I want an even number. Yeah. Got an odd number? Not, Not for me. Classic Mesa goes on. That's fine. Um, 
Stone Journey's retreat cost is like stupidly expensive, by the but way. But you want to use him to kill my guy. I think I will. I think I'm, I will. I'm weak to fighting. So I'm going to use my ability here to go get some special energy. So I will put one here mm -hmm. and another one. Because, yeah, it has to be the same Pokemon. It does have to be the same Pokemon. Let's have a look for more energy. Oh, I keep forgetting I'm picking up half my deck. <laughs> I was like, the deck size is just so big. Two. Okay, and then I'm going to use the other Archeops mm -hmm. to get some more energy. Now, I'm thinking it's probably best if I just get more single strike energy. Um, yes. But I'm not sure on that. Either single strike or V-Guard or Gift. Okay. Because if you think I'm going to come back and knock him out right away, Gift yep. will draw you up to seven cards in hand. You know what? Gift sounds pretty good. Um, I quite like that, to be honest. So let me go get a gift. Or oh, maybe maybe all my gifts are in my um oh no I found gift. I found my gift. You play two gift in the deck. Okay. So um one gift and then the other one Probably pass. Probably leave it in the deck. Really? Maybe, yeah. You only need three to attack. Yeah. Right? Um if you're putting an extra thing onto Sunjona in particular, it would just be um probably lucky to draw one extra card. Um, which you don't super need, really, and it means that it's something that you can't get out later to put onto another person, which I think is more important right now. Okay, yeah, I think that's fair. Um, and during our practice, I did run out of energy in the deck, and that was pretty bad. Yeah, it was kind of crucial. Okay, so I will take your advice. Thank you for <laughs> teaching me how to play as we go. Alright, um, so I have these three energy now attached to this stone journal. Yeah. I am then going to play um, my last card in hand, my V Guard Energy oh, nice. for turn yeah. on my Lugia. Yeah. And I'm going to end my turn by attacking with Giga Hammer yeah. to your Moridon. So I take 240. Yes. Uh, that hurts me. I, I bet it does. Good. Um, so you take two prizes. All right, I'll take two and tick down my prize card number down to I'm going four. to promote my Raikou. All right. Hmm. It's right. your turn. Alright, I'm going to draw for turn. Yes. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. You've made one fatal mistake. Have I? You don't have a dance class like you did I in, don't. in the training game. I don't. I truly do not. Um, so I might take advantage of that. Yeah, go for it. Um, Dust up. We're going to fleet footed. And draw a card. Okay. It is one of the cards of all time. Um, okay, so... Let's hold on to that. I'm then going to evolve my Regilicky. I'm thinking... Yeah, so we're going to go Greninja. We're going to discard an energy, and we're going to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. We're going to Electric Generator. Five. We hit one. Normally you don't need to show everyone, but <laughs> it's probably not even on camera. It's, it's fun for us, I guess. No, I, I did it like way too camera... far away. Camera cuts off at the end yeah, of that card. Oops. Whoopsies. Well, cinematic value for the people that were here in the studio. Yeah, all, the entire <laughs> crowd watching. We got like the the paparazzi, like yeah. we, we've we've got like barriers to hold them back so that we've we're understood. Very quietly to be quiet. They've asked, yeah. <laughs> Some of us in the room are less quiet than others. <laughs> Talking to the fridge here. Okay. <laughs> I get to attach this to something. Um, which is probably just going to be more idle, and I think is the way to go. And just to double check, you can use this stadium at any time. I can right, also okay. use that stadium. Um, there isn't anything I really need to get. Is this any Pokemon? Um, search so your deck for a Pokemon, yeah. Interesting. Alright, let's do it. Let's... That's a three. That's a three. That's unfortunate. Because I could get more Pico, I think. Alright, mm. so... So, We're gonna have like three different audios as well. Yeah, just that's okay. Nice. I'll just pick one master one and. All right, use I'm done. For everything. So I have an attached for turn. No. I'm going to. I'm gonna attach for turn here. So I have a lot of energy in play, same as you. You do. <laughs> um, so we need to do some maths. So lightning rondo is twenty damage, but this attack does twenty more damage for each benched Pokemon. So we go 20, 40, 60, uh -huh. 80, 100, 120, 140. Oh wow, so it's your opponents as 160 well. 160 in total, yes. Yeah. Nice. Now, Lugia Vista is weak to lightning. Yes. 
uh, but has V guard in it. But I think we have enough damage. We're gonna go Blossom's orders. Yep. And we're gonna swap your Lugia V star with your Stone Journal. All right. Goodbye, Stone Journal. Okay. So does this specifically say before or after weakness? After applying weakness and resistance. Thank Excellent. you, Lewis Text. So we're gonna attack. We're gonna use Lightning Rondo. Yes. It's gonna do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Yep. 160, because it has 20 base. Yep. 160, 190, because this is transistor gets plus 30. 190. Mm -hmm. Multiply um, it by two. 380. Yep. Minus 30, 350. It's very good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so. I'm just making sure that it's yeah, like yeah. actually enough. Okay, so this goes and you get a prize card. Yes, I get two prize cards. Um, two prize because cards. Because it is a V star. All right, and I get to promote something. And Stone Journal is looking pretty happy to be back in the spotlight. Yes. All right, well, that was the end of your turn. That's so correct. I'm going to take my turn now. I'm going to draw a card for turn. I'm going to use my stadium. Yeah. And roll a node. A heads, one time. One time, an even number. Yeah, all right. Oh, um, okay. So I would like a Pokemon. I'm going to reveal it, put it in my hand. Yeah. And then shuffle my deck. So is this a uh, Tyranitar? I think what I want is a Tyranitar. Yeah. So let me go look for that. I could alternatively get a Dunsparce, but I don't think that's necessary. I think it's too late. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a T-Tar. Okay. And I will just shuffle my deck. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to offer to, uh, you to cut it because I think you'll be fine. Um, <laughs> I am going to, um, I think, tap this, go get some energy. Mm-hmm. I think I want the single strike ones here on the T-Tar. Do you have enough? I don't know, I wonder. Let's go find out. No, we don't. So, alternatively... And you only have one urn left in deck because you discarded one at the very beginning. Oh, that's true. So you have to be mindful of your um, single strike energies. Okay, good to know. So, in order to use Single Strike Crush, I do need the two from yes. the Stone Journal. Yes, or at least one from it, or from prizes. So, but, you'll get two prizes this turn when you attack with this guy as well. Okay, but with the two dark things here... That's your Single Strike for your deck, yeah. But I need... Do I need two of them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it provides only one energy at a time, and the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more damage. Excellent. Okay, well, uh, let me uh, give a, a lucky energy and a gift energy yep. over here. I will then shuffle my deck. Okay. So these are under the Tita. Alright, that's one of them used. Yep. And... I might... I don't know if it's worth saving the other one just yet. We shall see. So then this one says... Oh, sorry. I'm looking at my cup in my deck. I'm going to use a supporter this turn. Okay. I think. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to use um, Judge. Each player shuffles their hand into the deck and draws four cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apologies. So I've only got two cards in my... Um, Hand. Don't apologize. That's like a good move for you to do that. I, I think it is as well. I actually had um, two energies in my hand yeah. and now they're back in the deck that's that good. I can that's pull good. them out. I had two of my more Pico pieces and I just got Ultra Ball out of the prizes. So I was like sick. I get to like get half of my more Pico together and oh, go and no. get the third one. And I'm like, like waiting for it to be my turn so I can do it immediately. And you're like, I'm going to play a supporter. I'm like, it's fucking Judge, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> The one of Judge in the Lugia list. Yeah. Alright, so let's draw four cards and hope I get something decent here. Um, ooh. Maybe that's decent. Let me just check. <laughs> Own moment. I wonder what I got. Um, okay. Well, well. What's the scariest thing on the field here? Is it this Raikou? Is it the, is it the Maridon? <laughs> Just, just thinking out loud here. So um, random. Random so thoughts. two prizes, two prizes, two prizes. Yes, they're all two prizes. Three prizes. Ooh, three prizes sounds really appealing. Not gonna lie. Um, now, these do these damage increases apply before or after oh, tight weaknesses? Uh, I think it's... 
before applying weakness and resistance. So okay. um, if it has weakness, it'll be 40 instead of 20 that it adds. Okay. Which so, is pretty much for my price. So my stone journal could knock out your Regilecki. Uh, is that what we're learning here? 120, 140, 160, 320, yes. Yes, excellent. Uh, good to you know. You can't boss as orders this turn if that's what you're looking at. No, yeah, I was just, <laughs> just, you know, thinking out thinking, loud. Yeah, of it's course. So, so random, right? Imagine having a boss's orders. Couldn't uh, be made. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> um, I am going to attach, um, I think, I'm going to attach, oh, I'm going to do my other occupants. Okay. No, well, I feel like there's no point, you know? I don't Save know it. what I'd put I'd put energy on. You could put something on the arch house, but there's probably no point. I think so. I'm, I'm going to play my double turbo energy from hand, and I'll put it on the arch house. Okay. And I'll just leave it. I'll leave okay. it. Okay. And then I am going to, um, I think, attack with the stone journal. Yeah. Into so the... if you use Giga Hammer, you can't attack a stone journal next turn. But I don't think Lance uh, did I, a kill. I used Giga Hammer last turn, didn't I? Did you? Yeah. To eliminate something. Then you can't attack me this turn. All right, then in that case. Sorry, I'm just thinking about this now. Yeah, that's all right. Me too. Um, my really retreat cost well. is like stupidly high. Yes. You probably just want to stand there. Can I just stand there and die? You, you hit the gift energy at least, and then you can earn. Oh, that's so smart. All right, cool. Thank you for teaching me how to <laughs> beat you. <laughs> Bro, I don't fucking know how to play my own deck, let alone your own deck. <laughs> Thanks for we'll thanks for playing both our decks for it. It's yeah. just you facing yourself here. Yeah. Okay, I will I will pass my turn. It's more of a more of a let's find out together. Yeah. Um, kind of an angle. Oh, actually, I can land pulse. Um, that is correct. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... It specifically says Giga Hammer. You can't. Cool. I'll just so put sixty damage counters. Well, it's more than that, right? So six. So it gets plus thirty because of the stadium. Is yes. In play. Um, oh. And then plus twenty. Plus so a, um, a hundred times two is two hundred. Okay. It will kill my guy. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll just it's do just that. It's just the Maraidon that wasn't killing. Um, oh, let's just kill the Rackrick. Yeah, so it's oh, two sure. prizes. Sure, sure, sure. Um, uh, I have an XP share that activates. Uh, and then my Maraiku dies. And then I'm going to promote Raikou. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to Ultra Ball, discarding two pieces of more Pico. My, my homie. I'm gonna go and get Goodbye. a Pokemon. More Pico piece. I'm gonna pretend I know how to shuffle cards. <laughs> this is gonna be a super card of me failing to shuffle cards. That's alright. Alright, so this is discarded. This is in my hand. We are going to uh, activate concealed cards. I will drop two cards. That is not what I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna fleet footed and draw a card. Again, not what I wanted, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna attach to the Regilucky V Max. We are then going to Lightning Rondo, mm -hmm. um, which is 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 120, 140, 170. So that will be a KO. Yep. Um, and I will get one prize card. So I'm on three prize cards. You are on so two. because we have the gift energy here, um, and I was attacked by a V Pokemon. Oh no, that's not applicable here. It's not specific. I just draw seven. You draw until you have seven cards. Until I have seven. So I have five in two hand cards. now. I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. All right, drawn two, and this will all go in the discard pile. Yeah. And I will promote Tyranitar. Yeah. All right. It is my turn. Yes. Okay. I think if you show me an urn, you win the game. I'll draw for turn. I will play an urn. Okay. <laughs> I, I would be getting the energy using Archeops to put it on T-Tar. Yeah. Knock you out of Pokemon. Yeah. So we- Taking your remaining prizes. And take the remaining prizes. Good game. <laughs> I should get into this. This is this is alright. I, I needed to hit Arvin or something off the the three draws that I had. I had um my other single strike uh, energy was in my prize cards and yeah. then I drew it then. Um not that it mattered because I did draw the urn, luckily. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Game two? Yeah, we can do game two. Alright. 
And three if I'm lucky. And three if you're lucky. <laughs> for sure. What do you think is like the most interesting Pokemon mechanic that you've seen in TCG? Mm, like so a Pokemon with something really random that it does. I don't know. Yeah. There's a few there's a few that I like that I'm currently brewing random stuff with. One of them is Chestnut. Chestnut has an ability when you're active, like specifically the Texas, when you're active, Chestnut takes damage from attack. Yeah. Put damage counters onto. Oh, like Spike Shield. Attack. Yes. Okay. Now, that ability can activate from the bench. Oh, really? So if I have one Chestnut active, three Chestnut on the bench, all <laughs> of them activate when you attack me. That's so funny. Which is not obvious reading it the first time yeah because when you read it the first time it's just like oh you're just talking about me yeah like, intuitively like... you're like oh i hit this thing and it does damage back to me yeah but reading the text that's interesting yeah um and so i built a deck around that in particular there's an item um box of disaster i think it's called and it says if you die from full hp put i think it's like eight damage counters onto the attacking pokemon oh wow so it's just like they attack you and you both get knocked out like pretty much every time is the cool. goal Cool. Um, which is a bit goofy. Sounds like. And you just kind of like end up it. in tiebreakers <laughs> like, yeah, all yeah. the time. Um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out a way to make that happen. It's not it's not yeah. quite there. Lots of ribbons. Well, I lost. I just oh. got to choose. What, what would you like? I'd like to go second. Sure. I, I would like to go first. Yeah. So that works for me. All right, ready? No mulligans. Let's go. Oh, height. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Um, all right. This is my active one. This is my first bench Pokemon. Um, okay. I actually have a banger of an opening hand. What the hell? Um, I need to think about what I'd like to do. Sneaky mulligan cam. <laughs> hmm. This is the worst thing. Is it just as bad? That's right, I've got a basic, so okay. I can't do shit. Okay. Alright, so, we've mulligan, got our prizes set up. Yep, we've got a basic Pokemon, and I am going first. You're Shall we first. reveal? Yes. Dunsparce. Not bad. Absolute legend. It might die, quickly. <laughs> it might. Um, we're going to do our best, regardless here. Now, I can't play a sport on my first turn, That's so I'm correct. not going to do that. What I will do is I'm going to play a Capturing Aroma. Oh, nice. We haven't seen this one yet. No, we haven't. So this does flip a coin. If head, search a deck for an evolution Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If tail, search a deck for a basic Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So just to clarify, evolution Pokemon, not a basic. Lugia V-Star. Yeah. And Archeops. Excellent. And it puts it in my hand. hand. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, heads is evens. I just dropped it, but I got a one. So yeah. that is a basic Pokemon, yeah. which I think is what I wanted. So Probably Lugia. I th I'm thinking Or Tita, if you have a Lugia already, maybe. I think Lugia is probably... But I'm assuming if you led with Dunsparce, you're not holding on to a Tita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have, yeah, I would have played the Tita, I think. Okay, so, a basic Pokemon. Alright. Lugia... Yeah. Uh, now that's in my hand, and I'm going to play that from the hand bench. onto All the good. bench. All good. All right. I think so, I'm taking up a lot of space. Actually, I'll move back a little bit. That is here, and now I am going to play a V Guard Energy onto the Lugia. Okay. Anything else? No. That's your turn. Uh, how many trainer cards can you use in a turn? Supporters, one. Items, as many as you want. Oh, well in that case, I will do that again. Yeah. Okay, uh, do the aroma. So, um, heads is evens. That is an even number, so I need to go find evolved Pokemon. That's correct. So, I'm thinking here... Lugia or Archeops. I'm going to... Do I have to reveal you it? You have to show me, yeah. I will get a Lugia. Okay. And then I'll shuffle the yeah. deck. And there's that. Do you want me to start my turn? Yes, that is the end of my turn. Okay, so I've got some straight fire happening here right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to drop a turn. Okay. That's mid, but okay. Um, we are going to tandem unit and get a Regilecki and a... The cutscene begins. Mirai, I know. You just like um, auto-forwarding dialogue. Yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna tandem unit again. I'm gonna get a Raikou. I feel like I'm mashing like the A button on my DS as a kid, and yeah. then like I'll accidentally like press it when the cutscene ends and I start the. Yeah, it's like the uh, in Zelda, the wise tree is like, do you want to hear this all again? And you're like, no. <laughs> oh. You do it all a third, fourth, fifth time. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna nest ball. Yeah. I'm gonna get Greninja. Memeing, it was the top card. Mm -hmm. It was not. Um, Please, Greninja, be in my deck. That would be really embarrassing if it, it's actually okay. Cool. It's like the second card mm -hmm. from that song. Okay, so I need some things. I haven't used a support yet. I'm like really want to boss's orders the Lugia and get the kill on the first turn. You can. That would be a quick game um, too. We we'll go straight to game three. But. But I, my Dunsparce does not have weakness to lightning while Dunsparce is in play. It doesn't. So I don't know that I can deal enough damage to it um, to accomplish that. I would have to attack with Maridon, I think. Uh, oops. Um, okay, so we are going to use... Um, actually, yeah. Okay, we're going to Fleet-Footed yep. and drop out. Sure. Oh, that's really good. We can play Beach Court. Okay. So the retreat cost of each basic Pokemon is one less. Cool. We are then going to Electric Generator. So we're going to look at the top five cards. Need an energy, please? Energy, please? God damn it. No energy. Rip. Oh, that's pretty unlucky. Ripperino. Very unlucky. Rip. Mm. Um, but I'm going to try again. Go for it. With my second electric generator. <laughs> please, please. Okay. Did you get Two one? generator whiffs. That's really brutal. Oh, you didn't get any? Not. Two in a row. That's so rough. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Damn. It's pretty gross. Very unlucky. That's the game we play. Yeah, I had a game um, at like the local meetup. And I had the same thing. I had three generators whiff. Um, I lost and had three prizes left, and oh. the three prizes left were all energy. No! Uh, oh, okay, look, that's maybe why. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. So, it's kind of gross. Um, we are then going to Professor's Research, so I'm going to discard the two cards I have left in hand, and then we're going to draw seven, including, hopefully, Generators. Alright. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Did you get one? I did. I get a Generator. Alright. <laughs> Again, again. What? Right, okay, we actually have an energy Yay. this time. It would have been pretty depressing to have you not get any. Yeah. And then I would have felt like that you lost because of luck and not my skills. Yeah, so. the, the one game where I had to pull it back. Yeah. Um, and I just, like, brick completely. But I don't think... I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to, but we're going to see... Let's see how we go. Oops. So, we have some things going on. We have some things going on. Um, I have some choices. You so, do. Lightning Rondo. You could get rid of Lugia I don't or the super threatening Dunsparce. I don't think I can kill Lugia, okay. is the problem. Are you scared of Dunsparce enough to kill it this turn? I might have to do it. If you kill it, you're, you're admitting that you're afraid of this Dunsparce. True, true. Um, so Lightning Rondo is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. I agree. Which is not enough to kill Lugia okay. without the extra weakness. Um, uh, did you say 140? Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm looking, I'm looking at no like the 130 error drive as the uh, health and I'm like, pretty sure that's the kills. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to retreat this because it costs nothing because yep. it's beach court. Promote this guy. Okay. We are then going to fleet foot it under a card. Not what I wanted, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, we are then going to basic energy, and then I'm going to kill you guys. <gasps> Not the Dunsparce. I'm really scared of it, and it needs to die. Very sad. Dunsparce is gone. Five prizes. And right. it's your I'll promote it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to draw for turn, um, and that's not really what I needed right now. But we'll see what we can do with it. Um, I think that I am going to. Oh. I can... Uh, attacking ends my turn, doesn't it? That's correct. And if you end your turn with no people on your bench, I will win the game. Eh. 
That's kind of spooky, isn't it? <clears throat> because if you have no Pokemon in play, you lose. Mm. And it wouldn't be too difficult for me to get the Lugia KO here. Yeah. Um, let me think about what I can do here. Mm. I actually don't think I can win. I think I'm a bit stuck. So, um, well, I can attach my energy for turn. Yeah. So, a certain lemma, I have no basic Pokemon in hand. Okay. So, Lugia is everything I have to work with. Okay. I should attach enemy, energy per turn. Probably. Probably. So I'll attach some energy. Right, now, the three energy I have is not enough for my four ability. It's not. It's and not. even if I was to evolve my Lugia, it can't do anything. It can get you can two the normal type back. Pokemon back. You can bring the Dunsparce. I can bring just the Dunsparce, which has stopped me from losing the game. I mean, look, that's the play, I right? Think that's what, I think that's what I have to do. That kind of has to be the line. I think, I think you I... You don't have anything that can get an, an archer up since the discount pile? No, I don't, actually. That's unfortunate. It is a bit unfortunate. So, so we will do your, this. Yeah, flip your V-Star. Oh, yeah, I've used my V-Star with my star. Dunsparce. And... That's really brutal. I guess... That's it. That's the end of my turn. It's kind of a big brain line, but it's really unfortunate. <laughs> I think that's the most I can do to survive another turn, yeah. unfortunately. So I, that's that's all I can do for now. Okay, interesting. So, I'm going to drop a turn. Wow! Um, that's pretty good. So, we are going to do some stuff. I'm going to do some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, God damn it. Sequencing is like really awkward. Um, I think beforehand is going to be fine. I'm going to draw a card with Fleet Footed. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that card. I'm then going to... <sighs> Sigh. No. <laughs> um, I think that's fine. I just don't, don't think I can kill a Lugia, so I'm going to escape rope. Mm-hmm. So your guy's going to swap, and then I get to swap my guy out for someone else. Alright, Dunsparce comes back in. The very scary Dunsparce. Um, that's my game plan, it's just to kill Dunsparce as many times as possible. That's fair. <laughs> um, I then get to attach an energy to something. Um, could be this. I'm then going to Professor's Research, which discards three pieces of Morpico. It's like oh. almost my hand in its entirety is Morpico. Wow. Four, five... Six. So seven. do you have to play more Pico from hand entirely? No, it's on the discard. So you get all four more Pico pieces in the discard. Oh, in mark, discard. And, and then, then you can put it to your bench. As one yeah. Pokemon on your bench. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um, okay, so I've attached the turn, which means I can Radiant Greninja here, conceal cards, discard, and draw. I don't need that either. Um... Okay, we're going to Fleet Footed mm -hmm. and draw a card. That is more of the same thing. Um, Jesus. This is awkward at best. Rude at worst. Um, I need you to kill one of my guys so I can bring my Mopico. Yeah, back. unfortunately, <laughs> um, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm a little stuck myself. I think... I think the way to go is we're going to second escape rope. Okay, so this comes back out. Yeah, and then I'm going to lightning rondo you. Okay. Um, so I can straighten these up because my turn is going to end. But the damage is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. So exactly half. Okay, so um, if I just do like the dice that says like 140, are we going to remember this 140? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> it's fine. You got it. Cool. There. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's your turn. Okay. Well, um, I think I will draw for turn to start with. I will play a Tita. Okay. And <laughs> I can't really do a lot. Um, and then cry about it. Yeah, then cry about it, I guess. Seems bad. I know. I think I I think I have to retreat. I'm going to pay my retreat cost, which is one less. Um, and I retreat 
and I'll discard the I don't know I think I think I actually keep oh, I don't have ways of putting energy on things anymore maybe this stays maybe I just discard the v-guard energy and I will promote Dunsparce you. you're back up <laughs> so you can spend all your boss's orders or all your escape ropes trying to put Lugia back but it needs time to as much time as you can get needs needs time um now you I wanna, you want to double total energy the Dunsparce and hit me for 10 uh, no, actually, I will pass my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I drink up for turn. Yep. I have all four Ultra Ball in hand, which is kind of a meme. Uh, I'm going to evolve this. I'm going to conceal cards. Yep. Draw two cards. Oh, we're going to Electric Generator. I'm probably going to miss. Yeah. Sad. There's not many cards left in my deck, so the miss oh, yeah. isn't a big surprise. Oh, maybe my win con is like making you like draw, my entire draw your entire deck out. I have I feel like technically 65 cards in deck because of energy recycling. Okay. But I'm a lot closer to the deck now than you are. Yeah, I think <laughs> like thinking about my win cons, it's either really slowly build up single strike energies on like Tita, very, very slowly. Yeah. Or um, you deck out. So that's that's the two things I'm playing for right now. It's not the worst. Um, I guess I could do that. I guess I could do that. Um, yeah. Okay. I haven't played a supporter this turn. Um, so here's Forest Steel Stone. Yep. I'm gonna be stuck. I'm gonna get boss's orders. We're gonna boss his orders to Lugia. Alright. And then I'm gonna kill it. Alright. Very sad end. It's gone. And I will promote Don's boss. So, <laughs> the first time when I did damage to it, yes. we didn't calculate the, the V guard energy. Yep. So, it should have been 110 counters. But doing it now is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, I, 120, yeah. 140, 170. I trust so the that it extra kills. from the transistor makes up for the difference that we missed out on. Yes. Um, and that's your turn. I get two prizes. Yes. I'm still at all six prize cards. I'm going to draw for turn. Uh, excellent. I'm going to immediately play my Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard two cards from hand um, and search my deck for a Pokemon reveal it, put it into the hand and then shuffle your deck. So I'm going to discard a Boss's Orders and Archeops and I'm going to look for. Stone it's, it's a Pokemon, I put it in my hand, so I'm wondering... Lumineon? So, we had a camera problem, unfortunately. Yeah. But as we discussed kind of in the video, we are basically going to say Lugia wins, so you beat me. Well, the game one. We, you win game one, yeah. and game two we went over what tournament allotted time would have been. Oh, so you would have won one zero. Realistically, if we had infinite time, there was no. Then way we would I have played a third that. game. Yeah, so it would have been one one, and we would have gone into a third game. Yeah, and then a hundred percent with my amazing skills, I would have beaten you on the spot. Probably. It's. It, I mean, I'm not great, but um, I. the other thing is that in that scenario, let's say let's say we're on main stage EUIC. Yeah. You're playing Lugia V Star. Yeah. I'm playing Maridon. Yeah. I'm a bit of a punter. Yeah. You've won game one, and time is narrowing out in yeah. game two. I use my Luigi V Star to bring Dunsparce back yeah. on the field. To You're doing everything it. you can to stay in. Yeah. Um, the gentleman's agreement says that I should concede to you so that you can play on, basically. Really? Because there's no way for me to win. Okay. The best I could do is aim for a draw. Yeah. Um, and without a game three, there's no way that I could win to get the points. So we would we would say like the the correct choice politely would be for me to concede um in that scenario which i think is fine i think yeah. you did really well we got to see oh, what the decks too. do we had yeah. a really good game one and i got to learn a tcg which is what i wanted out of today anyway so and i think that the first two well the, the, the only two videos that we uh, games we got to film um were fun for me to play yeah. and uh hopefully they're fun for you to watch you got to see the deck working and you yeah. got to see the deck not working exactly and that's, <laughs> that's exactly what you need to practice the deck um yeah. So yeah, uh, overall, I'm not mad that we didn't get to do a third game, but um, yeah, uh, ho hopefully another day when we don't have camera issues and such, 
let's do another day and uh, we'll try out some new decks. Yeah, yeah, rematch some fun decks and maybe try out some different formats as rematch well. Rematch and grudge match. Thanks for having me. Where can we find you? Where can we find me? Well, it's probably on your channel am, anyway. Yeah, you're looking at where you can find me. Um, Cutlass Board Games channel. Hit that like and subscribe button for more of this goofy stuff. And yeah. What about you? Oh, you can find me on my YouTube channel. I am Elixa Elise, and you can find me through that name on various channels: Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, etc. Um, maybe there'll be something in the description. Yeah, get on that Twitch. Hit the followers. Yeah, hit come the followers say hi. For Twitch. Help you hit that as affiliate goal. I think you're chasing at the moment. Yeah, I started a month ago. I'm like actually really close to affiliate, yeah. so that'd be nice if I get that. Um, help me work towards that goal. But um, in general, if you just like gaming or crazy content or um, I don't know, I'm really into competitive games at the moment. Just come, come check it out. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right. Next time. <laughs> oh, pause for the fridge. <laughs> <laughs>